And, and what's interesting from an Islamic perspective is the, the word happiness in Old English comes from a, a root word hap, which is luck or fate. And that's why a hapless person is somebody without any luck. Uh, the idea of happiness is that your fate is something that you're actually pleased with. It's riqab al-qadr. It's being pleased with what Allah or God has decreed for you. That is true happiness. And, and people are wretched in the world because they reject their circumstances. It doesn't mean they can't change their circumstances, but they're sad about the past. You can't change the past. So to, to lose your happiness over what's happened in the past is actually not using the intellect correctly. So the, the, the pursuit of happiness is, according to Muslim ethicists as well, is the pursuit of a moral and virtuous life that is something that is pleasing. And the word pleasure, which people associate with happiness, comes from the same root of please. And plesur, the original meaning was to please another. So real pleasure is in the service of others. And that's why the happiest of all people in our belief is the Prophet Muhammad And no one served people more than the Prophet. His life from the beginning to the end was a life of service. Even before Islam, he was serving. And that's why Khadijah, when, when, he, when he said to her what had happened on the Mount of Light, Khadijah said, God will never forsake you. You feed the hungry. You take care of the orphan. You help the widow. You take care of those in distress. The proof that she had was his serving other people. So that is the real secret of happiness. And in philosophy, it's called the hedonistic principle. That real pleasure, the real hedonism, is the pleasure derived from serving others. Even the, the poorest of poor, because everybody can serve. The street sweeper can serve. The poorest of poor can serve. And that's why real happiness, we believe sa'adah is in service. And, and finally, the, the Prophet وسلم, at the root of our religion is the concept of happiness. Because sa'adah is what we are all looking for. And sa'adah, happiness, is the only thing in the world that is an end and not a means. When you ask people, what do you want? Like, I want to be successful. Why? Because I want to make a lot of money. Why? Because I want, it's always something else. But if you ask them, finally, get to the final, they say, because I want to be happy. And then you ask them, why do you want to be happy? There's, there's no reason to be happy. That's an end in itself. And that is indicative of the fact that what we really want is eternal happiness. That's what the human soul is striving for, to be happy eternally.